Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.15 from the chapter number 6. The problem is a flip-flop has a 10 nanosecond of delay from the time the clock edge occurs to the time the output is completed. So what is the maximum delay in a 10-bit binary ripple counter that uses this type of flip-flops? What is the maximum frequency of the counter that can operate with reliably? So first of all, we are given that each flip-flop has a 10 nanosecond of delay. Suppose here we have one flip-flop. Suppose this is one flip-flop. Suppose this is one flip-flop, any kind of flip-flop. So it has one input, one output. Q okay here one input and here we have a clock so after getting this clock depending on this input it will generate the output q to change its output after getting the clock it's here we are given that this time from here to here this time is 10 nanosecond of delay now we are asked about what is the maximum delay in a 10 bit binary ripple counter so we know that for a 10 bit binary ripple counter there are 10 number of flip flops okay in a 10 bit binary ripple counter there are 10 number of flip flops so first of all we have to find out if we have 10 number of these consecutive flip flops suppose here we have flip flop this output will be connected to the second stage flip flop okay and in this way up to 10th number of flip flops okay so suppose if it is 1 2 3 this is 10 so after getting this clock what is the time required to get this output this final output that means after 10 nanosecond display we will have this output this output will be connected to this clock input okay or the inverted output depending on the condition this output will be connected to the clock input to the next flip flop and so on and the previous output will be connected to the clock input because it is a ripple counter so that means after 10 nanosecond of display we'll have this output and this will be applied to here and after again 10 nanosecond this flip flop will give the output here okay that means after 20 nanosecond we'll have here the output after 30 nanosecond we'll have the clock input of the fourth flip-flop so in this way for getting the output of the tenth number of flip-flop the worst case is all ten flip-flops will be complemented so the worst case is when all the ten flip-flops are complemented okay so this is the worst case so we have to calculate for the worst case because we have to find out the maximum delay okay we are asked to find out the not the minimum delay the maximum delay so worst case we have to consider therefore the maximum delay will be equal to 10 into 10 nanosecond equal to 100 nanosecond so this is the maximum delay then we have to find out what is the maximum frequency of the counter can operate with reliably so for reliable operation of the counter we have to consider the worst case so in the worst case we have got it is 100 nanosecond delay therefore the maximum frequency will be equal to 1 by maximum delay 1 by 100 into 10 to the power minus 9 because it is nanosecond therefore we have to convert into second so 1 by second so 1 by second means it will be in hertz so here we'll have this is 100 into 10 to the power minus 9 so 100 means 10 square so 9 minus 2 it will be 10 to the power minus 7 so 10 to the power minus 7 so 10 to the power 1 by 10 to the power minus 7 means 10 to the power 7 or we can say that 10 into 10 to the power 6 so 10 into 10 to the power 6 means it is megahertz okay so we can write it as 10 megahertz therefore the maximum frequency of operation of this 10 bit counter is 10 megahertz thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you